if you want to play Game Boy Advance games, I think the best way to play it now is to play it on the 3DS. The 3DS actually supports Game Boy Advance natively, so it's running on actual hardware rather than software emulation. So you'll be playing accurately and also it's on uh, you're playing on actual Nintendo hardware uh, so it feels it feels great. As the 3DS has a bigger screen it does upscale the resolution. Um, I think it looks okay it looks good. Uh, if you don't like it uh, you could always hold start and boot up the game and it'll load up the original resolution which will be smaller and it uh, looks looks exactly like the original. So I'll be using a guide from um, EIP Hacks. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but uh, I'll leave a link in the description so you can follow with me. Um, the first thing you need to do is download the Super, the new Super Ultimate Injector program. Um, so once you've downloaded that, uh, you can unzip it. After you've unzipped it, launch the program. Uh, it takes some time to load when you first start it up, I think. Don't panic. So once it finally loaded, uh, I was greeted with a non-English program. I don't know why, but uh, nothing to fear. So I'm going to change it back to English language. I'm looking for the options and then change the language back to English. And then you have to restart the program for it to be back into English. Now after we restarted it, it's in English. So we have to start a Game Boy Advance project. So we go to File, uh, New, and then Game Boy Advance CIA. Once you've done that, go to Project and Load ROM and then uh, look for your Game Boy Advance ROM. And normally I get this uh, download image error. I'm guessing that in the past it, it connects to some server that can uh, download the image for you automatically. I guess it doesn't work anymore. So uh, it's okay. We can uh, input your own image. So I just go to Google and find some box art image of the, the ROMs I'm going to use. There's two places to put the images. Uh, one's on the left side uh, where it says the uh, game icon. That's the, uh, the icon on the home screen of your 3DS. And then the other one is on the right side. That's the game banner. That's the one uh, when you uh, select the, the icon, the image that goes on the top screen. That's the banner. So uh, both of those you can customize and uh, just do it according to your own liking.
after you've done all your settings for your ROM, you can go to project and then export CIA and that helps you create the CIA file you need to put on your SD card. Just copy the exported CIA file to your SD card and we're ready to transfer it back to our 3DS. Back over to the 3DS, we insert back our SD card into the machine and then power on. Go into FBI and then select SD, CIA and then uh, install and delete. Uh, we don't really need that CIA folder once we've installed it. We can save some space there. Now we can exit out of FBI and that's it. That's we've installed the GBA game onto our 3DS. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.